Welcome to today's tutorial in regards to the program called ACDC Mac Pro version 3.0. For the people who has just now tuned in, this program is a photo management program, one of the better ones for Mac and Windows, but the one we will look at today is the Mac version. If you have had time, I will recommend that you go in and watch the prior three tutorials I created. The first one was an introduction to the program. The second one was a quick overview over the layout in regards to the ACDC Mac Pro program. And the third one was importing photos from SSD cards into the local hard drive. What we will do today is we will go in and look at the customizable batch presets that you can find over here on the top of the left panel. For the people who hasn't seen the three prior tutorials, the program here is laid out in three pans. The left pan is called the folders pan, the middle pan is called the file list pan, and the right pan here is called the organized sync pan. Over here by the left, by the folders pan, you find the batch set up here, and we'll go in and look today how it can be customized and how it can be used to your benefits in regards to managing your photos. What you can use the batch for is to go in either to mass adjust photos in regards to formats, in regards to timestamps, in regards to editing issues like lightning, colors, and so on. You can also use it to move files, rename file, resize file, and so on. This is what the tutorial will look at today, the customizable batch presets. In my last tutorial, I imported pictures from an SSD drive. As you can see over here to the left, here was the SSD drive. What I did was that I went in and created a folder in my favorite called pictures, or I could just have gone down here under devices and gone under users, then under the username, then gone down to where I have my pictures. And in here I created a folder called 2015-08-12 Parade in Manhattan. So now we found the pictures I imported. So what can we use then the batch for? The batch is up here and as you can see I can do either mass adjustments of timestamps. I can go in and convert the format that it came in, a JPEG format, to perhaps another format. I could copy, I could go in and edit some of the pictures if the pictures was poor lighted, then you can move, you can rename, resize, and so on. What I also want just to mention here is that over here in Organize, that's the next thing we'll go in and look at. But here, for instance, I have the names here, image, and then a number. What I would like to do is that if these pictures ever get moved into a combined folder where pictures are coming from many folders, it would be nice if these pictures had, for instance, a name so I knew what folder they came from, like up here, Parade in Manhattan. So what I do here is that I go in and highlight the pictures that I want to work with. So I want to work with all the pictures I have in here. So I just press Shift and then hold it down. Now all the pictures in here is highlighted. I go up to Batch. I go down where it says Rename. On the Rename, you can see it just says Name. What I want the name to be, I want it to be Parade in Manhattan. So what I go up here is that I delete the one called name and said yeah but I want so it says parade underscore in Manhattan underscore then I want a counter so that I can go in and say yeah but these have numbers perhaps not the image number you have here but the numbers so I go in here and take the counter and add up here then I click expanding and say what do you want i want at least more than one digit because you can see up here it has four i always give it five so i give it five digits and you can see down here underneath there is a sample of what these names will be when i'm running a rename i want start by one and then i want just to count upwards so now i'm ready now I'll go down here and say run batch it will go now through all the pictures and now there is a name on all these pictures here I could also say, yeah, but if I go up to batch and I want to go in and look at, let's say, 
develop or edits. What can I do in here? I could make these pictures that I have in here like black and white. So if I go in and say black and white, I go in and say run. Now I run through all these pictures and make them black and white. I'm just doing it now. I can reverse it. It has to be said that after it has run through all these and made them black and white, you can still go back to the original. I just want to show you what the bats can be used for. You can also go in and bats update your timestamps. You can go in and correct if there's poor lighting on pictures because they just become too tame if their light is not good. You want them more lively. So as you can see now, now you can see that some of these pictures now carry the, the changes where you can see it's black and white. It has to be said that when you change them, it didn't go in and make a copy of the picture. So you now you have a colored and a black and white. It goes in and replaced the original, but it still has the possibility to be reset. So now you can see here that all these pictures now are now black and white. If I regret, I can always click on the right side of the mouse and then I can go down and restore develop and restore to the original. So if I press here, it asks me, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Now we wait again. It goes through these 12 images or photos. And now you can see the color comes back. But that is what you use the batch for, to go in here and can rename or resize, even recoloring if you want to in batches. And that will save you a lot of time. So that was it. Now you should be able to not just import pictures into a specific folder, but also go in when you have imported them to rename them, even go in and make adjustments to size and also format if I want to do that. In my case here, it came out a JPEG. I could make them PNG or GIF or what I feel for. That's it. I hope to see you in my next tutorial where I'll take a look at the organizing part. That is the right pen also the pen called the organized pen. Stay tuned. <laughs>